and welcome to IT Clear. Today we're doing module 1.3 computer management. This is for grade 12 IT. So uh, our computers, we know that we need to manage them. We know that if we just neglect things, anything will become deteriorated if we neglect it. And for co computers to perform at their best, we need to do some housekeeping. So there are many management tasks required. Some are to do with security, some are to do with saving time because your computer gets slow, and some are to do with reliability. So let's look at more detail about this. For security, we need an antivirus. Although Windows um, comes with its own antivirus, we, if you want better security, you need to install an antivirus and only install one. You have to set the software to download new virus definitions automatically. These get downloaded from the internet every day because people keep writing new viruses. You have to scan removable drives. For example, if your friend plugs in a flash drive, it should automatically get scanned when they plug it into your computer. And you should scan the entire computer at least once a week. And another aspect of security is your firewall. As you can see in the picture, the firewall is what goes between the big wide world, the internet, and you. It's like a wall that checks what's the data coming in, the data going out, and makes sure that that is safe. So it protects your computer from external attacks. It'll attempt to protect you from spyware. It could be either a hardware firewall or a software firewall. Windows 10 does come with a firewall that you can switch on and it monitors the applications that use the communications link. So um, a basic firewall will restrict your computer's communication to the most common settings. And it's adequate if you're just doing email and internet browsing and basic productivity tasks. But if you are probably a business person, you need a more complex firewall, and this allows you to check and change settings for individual applications. So you can set it so that different applications you use on your computer have maybe different settings of security. It also allows you to control specific ports on your computer. And a hardware firewall is used when a private network connects to the internet and um, for bigger networks, for business networks, they often have a whole dedicated computer that serves as a firewall. So you remember that updating your software is a very important part of security. That is because there may be flaws and bugs in your software, like your Windows, and when you update, those flaws and bugs go away and get fixed. Um, if you do not do it, you could be making your computer vulnerable to hacking, and you could lose data. And that is because, remember, the hackers are clever. They're constantly finding new ways to hack into the computer, and so the companies which write the software, fix the bugs, and fix the loopholes through which the hackers can get into your computer. And they pass the fixes onto you. When you update your software, those fixes get set onto your computer. Be aware of the current trends in computer crime. Just knowing how the hackers are trying to get into your computer will allow you to prevent a lot of the problems that can happen. There's hacking, phishing, 
a scamming attack. All of these get, um, are problems that can, can attack your computer and that you need to be aware of because a lot of them only happen when you cooperate with the hackers. An online service that helps you is called Feedly.com and you can also use an RSS feed to help you to keep up to date with the trends by looking at certain websites re regularly. Another thing that you need to do is to just apply common sense. Be skeptical. If anything, like an email or an offer, is too good, seems too good to be true, then it is too good to be true. Don't just fall for all the special offers that you get um, sent on the internet. There's a very good website called Snopes.com and you can check there for well-known scams. And if something seems a bit fishy to you, go check on Snopes.com and you will see um, whether it is a scam or not. You can also Google and often the, the scam will be exposed if you Google for whatever it is that you think is a problem. If you get an email that seems to come from a bank, don't just click on the email or the link. Phone the bank, check whether they sent it to you, or um, try typing the organization's website directly into your browser to check if it's got the same information as on the, on the bank email. Remember that a, a bank will never ask for your passwords through an email. Another important aspect of security is good password policy. Use different passwords for different accounts, use long passwords, avoid words from the dictionary, avoid nicknames and pet names and phone numbers and birth dates, and change your passwords regularly. time is um, something we all like to do and remember that your computer can get slower and slower as it gets older so defragmenting your hard drive is very important fragmentation is shown here in the picture it just means that the files are being spread out over your hard drive if you look at file A in the picture, the red file, you can see that as you as you delete and add files and change files on your on your hard drive, they get um, spread out in different places. And so finding them again, it means that the hard drive needs to be spun around so that the read write head finds the right place. And if it's in lots of different places, it takes time to open a file and to save it, and that gets quite tedious. So try to defrag your hard drive every six months. Another important thing is just to look after your files and folders. The picture shows you an example of a typical desktop, which is a big mess. So rather try and store all your documents in a root folder. It makes it much easier to back up and then create lots of separate folders in the main folder. And every time you have a new project or a, if you have a different school subject and so on, you create different subfolders. Use meaningful names. And another thing you can use, do to help save time is to use to make sure your operating system indexes files. Now, indexes means that your computer has a dictionary which it, in which it stores all the names of the files that you have and the, the words that are inside them. And it just makes it easier if you search for a certain keyword, your computer can find that keyword and know exactly which file it belongs to. Um, and when you are looking for a file that you have lost, rather use your operating system search tool. It's much faster than browsing through folders. Remember that when you are buying new software, check your hardware requirements. 
and make sure that you, you have those hardware requirements before you buy the software. Otherwise, when you try and use the software, you might find your systems very slow or it will crash. In terms of reliability, make sure you follow a good backup problem. All sorts of things happen to computers. There are disasters, crashes, they get stolen, you, there are accidents. So remember to have a good daily, weekly and monthly policy. If you are backing up to a hard drive, another hard drive or um, DVDs, make sure you put the media in a different place and keep your backup media safe. Although you would probably also back up to a um, the cloud in currently, and that is also a very good backup policy. So also another thing is to be prepared for a rebuild, just in case a disaster happens. Keep records of all your license keys and serial numbers. And if you've kept a good backup policy, it will be much easier to restore your computer and make sure you know how to restore the data too. Um, remember to, up, in terms of upgrading and your software and hardware, it would be very nice to update every, to upgrade every year and buy a new powerful machine because hard computer hardware becomes more powerful and more amazing all the time. Um, often you think like that there is software that you must have and there's also devices that are lighter and last longer, but it's not very realistic to upgrade every single year. So try and plan for every three to five years. And one thing you can do is to upgrade your memory or your storage only. That is more um, reasonable. Um, and remember that when you do replace your system, it will probably cost as much as you spent for the previous system. Software upgrades can be done at a discount if you own the, the previous versions. And um, software as a service is also a good alternative to yearly upgrades because you you just pay a rental and then you keep having the latest version. And that's all for today. Goodbye and God bless you with your exams.